Yo, what is up guys? My name is Chris Bustead and I run the Takeover store. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about LUTs, what they are, why you would use them, how to use them, and then at the end, I'm gonna show you how to create your own LUT. So, what is a LUT? A LUT is essentially just a lookup table, meaning it'll essentially transform colors into different colors depending on what your LUT is. And it's sort of just like a map of color, just changing the tones and shades and hues, saturation, whatever of those specific colors. So now like you know what exactly a LUT is, what it does, like what, what do you use it for? So you use it to color grade your videos. So the reason I use LUTs in my workflow is essentially it's a drag and drop process. So it's a time saver. It saves me tons and tons of time. And the second reason is because it provides me with consistent results time and time again. So if you want a specific look like grungy, you know, moody, summery, all that sort of stuff, you can create different looks with LUTs and just load it onto your footage and you're good to go. So now you know what a LUT is, why to use one. Let's go ahead and jump into how to use a LUT. So first things first, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you want to download your LUT. It can be two different files. So a .cube or a .look. And I think there's even a .lut. You can find LUTs anywhere online. There's a lot of free ones on YouTube. Now, if you guys actually want to go ahead and cop the LUT that I use each and every single for all of my content, including these YouTube videos. They'll be down in the description below over at chrisboosted.com. In my opinion, it's hands down the best LUT right now for content creators. So now that you have your LUT downloaded, let's go ahead and open up your editing software of choice. For me, it is Premiere Pro. And then we're gonna go ahead and import the LUT. And the way we do it, it's actually really, really easy. So once you go ahead and have all of your footage loaded up inside of Premiere Pro, I'm going to go ahead and just color grade this clip. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to go ahead and go to Lumetri Color. If you don't have this, go ahead and window, just Lumetri Color, it'll show up. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Let's go to Creative. It's already open. So just Creative right here. And then this is where you import your LUT. So it's going to say, look, just click this. And then I go to Custom. And this is where you're going to go ahead and find where you installed your LUTs. For me, it is on my desktop inside of my Takeover LUTs folder. And let's go ahead and just import the cube file. So as you can see, we have the LUT applied. It's as simple as that, super, super easy. But let's go ahead and show you how to sort of tweak it to get it to where you want it to look. And honestly, right, right here, it actually looks great. It actually looks really, really good. But say the LUT was a little too strong for you, you can go to this intensity slider and you could slide it down. So this is be like kind of before. The lower, the lower the value, the less intense the look's gonna look. And you just slowly drag it up. Like honestly, right there could look good. Maybe you just want it to be a little extra defined. Or you can slide it all the way to the right and, and it'll sort of just be more intense. And this honestly doesn't look terrible. I really don't care for that look, but in the middle is honestly pretty fire. Dope. So this is before the LUT. This is after the LUT. Kind of just adds like that blue moody look. Um, and this one is before and this is after. Before after. So as you can see, LUTs are honestly a game changer for your color grading workflow. Like you don't have to spend 15, 30, even an hour working on a look. You can literally just drag and drop, change the intensity, and then you're good to go. So let's say you actually want it to be way more simpler than this. And you just want to be able to drag and drop it from your presets tab. I'm going to show you how to do that. So all you have to do is you're going to go over here to Lumetri Color. Once you have the LUT applied, you want to go to your effects tab. And then you want to right click on the Lumetri color, save preset. And then I'm just going to name it as like takeover dash LUT. And then I'm just going to hit OK. And then you'll see that it will actually load into your effects tab. So I'm just going to type in takeover dash LUT and it'll pop up right here. Just in the future, go ahead, drag it, drop it. And it's as simple as that. Super, super easy. So for me, it's a drag and drop process. And again, if you guys want to go ahead and cop my editing pack with all of these presets included, specifically tailored for short from content editors, then I would highly recommend going down below in the description, checking it out. It's literally my creator bundle. It has my film Lightroom presets, has my editing animation presets, and it has my creator LUT. Essentially all of your editing needs made super, super easy. So as promised guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create your own LUT. So let's say you wanna make your own LUT. Go to basic correction, do all of your sort of edits. Let's just make this very, very just like funky looking so you guys can tell like how to create a LUT. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So just like some weird, weird stuff. I'm just making it look terrible for the tutorial. Um, what you guys want to go ahead and do to create the LUT, you just want to go ahead and go to Lumetri Color. All you want to go ahead and do is go to this hamburger menu, right click, export look, export cube, whatever you guys want to do. And it's as simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Export cube. And then you just save it as like, we're going to do like tutorial LUT. And then you just save in your downloads and it's good to go. So let's go ahead and open up my downloads. 
and then there it is right there. So hopefully this tutorial was very helpful to you and your color grading process. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Anyways, guys, cannot wait to see you take action and take over. See you guys in the next one. Peace.